Welcome back to Barbecue and Bottles. And today we're gonna to be making beef ribs three different ways. So we've got these beautiful plate ribs that we've got them trimmed up into individual bones. We've got full racks of beef ribs. And then we've got some Miami style beef ribs that are marinating away in the fridge. So we'll bring those back out here later in the cook. And then at the end, we'll do a taste comparison to see you know, which of these methods we actually prefer the most. So the first thing we're gonna do is just make a rub. So we're going in with some kosher salt. We'll go in with equal parts coarsely ground black pepper. And then of course, we're gonna go in and add a little bit of paprika. And this will just add some nice color. When the bark forms, it'll give it that really nice, rich, dark black bark color that we're looking for. Get the lid on here, and just shake that up. So for the plate ribs, just before we add our rub, we're gonna go in with a little avocado oil, just as binder. You can use olive oil if you prefer. We're gonna be doing these nice and low and slow, so it doesn't really matter if you've got a high smoke point oil or not. And this oil's just gonna make sure that our rub actually sticks to the beef ribs. Now we'll go in with our rub and be generous here. These are thick cuts. We've got the sides, we're gonna get the tops as well. We've got a little bit of the fat cap on the top, but that's fine, it's not very thick at all. Man, the marbling in these ribs are just ridiculous. So I'll get those three done up. Whew, good catch. Do the same over here. Just look at that marbling, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now don't worry about seasoning the bone side. There's a lot of membrane and intermuscular connective tissue around that bone where we're not gonna get much of that seasoning penetrating through. So we've got our plate ribs seasoned up here. Now let's get the next set of ribs. Same thing here, just a little bit of avocado oil and then a rub. And we're gonna go lighter on these just because they're a thinner cut. All right, perfect. Got a little bit of the excess there from the cutting board. So we've got the pit warming up to 275, and we're gonna be running the pit a little bit hotter than we'd do regular ribs, just because there's a really high amount of fat content and marbling in these guys, and we wanna make sure that that fully renders down over the course of our cook. So our pit's up to temp now, just gonna get these ribs on. Now we're gonna load our beef ribs up on the top rack. We'll get this closed up. So Cuisinart has these red wine hickory pellets that provide a really awesome smoke and flavor profile to your cooks. So we're gonna get this into our 40 pound pellet hopper here. Perfect. Now this cook's gonna take somewhere between four to six hours. It'll depend on the thickness of your beef ribs but we've got loads of pellets in here, we'll be fine, that's not gonna be a problem. Now we'll open this up, get our probes plugged in here, make sure they click all the way in. Now we'll get this into the thickest part of one of these beef ribs here. Now we'll get our other one into one on the other side of the grill. Again, you wanna stick it right in the thickest part, make sure you get that probe all the way in there just so that you can monitor the internal temp where it's coolest in your beef rib. So with the grill closed up, the temp probes are in. We've got this locked in at 280. Again, it's gonna take four to six hours here and we're gonna spritz these with water every hour just to maintain the moisture in the actual beef. All right, we just hit 198, 200 internal temp on these ribs. So we're gonna check in on them, see if they're probe tender. Just look at these guys. So the other beef ribs, we took those off when they hit an internal temp of about 200. They're in the oven wrapped in foil, just resting. So here we're not checking for temp at all. We're just taking these, putting our probe in here and making sure that there's no resistance as that probe goes in. You want it to feel just like butter. Oh, that's incredible. Just look at these guys, all that juice running down here. Can't wait to get these guys rested for about an hour and then we'll slice in, see how they turn out. Man, those look so good. 
So we've got these all foiled up, and after that cook, we're gonna leave these in the oven for an hour just to let them rest while we make the Miami short ribs. All right, for the short ribs, we've got the grill cranked up to 600 Fahrenheit. We've got this little vent open, so we've got access to the direct flame. These are only gonna take two or three minutes of side tops. You don't wanna cook these too long. Because they're so thin, they cook up really nice and quickly. So I'll put a link in the description down below for the recipe for the marinade that we had these in sitting in overnight. But you just make up a batch of that. Make sure your ribs are covered, put it in a casserole dish and leave that in your fridge overnight. All right, we've got all our ribs ready and now it's time for the taste test. I mean, just look at these guys. These dino bones, huge amount of pullback, solid pullback on the beef ribs too. And these Miami ribs, oh, they seared up three or four minutes aside, they are gonna be delicious. Can't wait to try each of these. So what I'm gonna do actually for the plate ribs is I'm gonna carve it off the bone. Then I'm gonna just slice it into small pieces like this. Now for the beef ribs, we'll turn these over just so that we can clearly see between the bones and where to slice. Beauty, just look at that. Ton of marbling and fat in those guys. And now for the Miami ribs, just gonna carve down here, cut the bones off, and we'll carve this into little bite-sized pieces here as well. The first one I'm gonna do a taste test with here is just the beef short rib. You can see a really nice smoke ring. Love the bark that came out on these guys. I mean, they just look really amazing. So let's go in for a taste test, see how it turned out. Mmm, really, really good. So for these guys, I'm gonna say I actually could have let these go probably another five degrees. And these were really well marbled beef short ribs. And you can see here in the slice, there's still a little bit of fat that I think could have rendered down a little bit more. This is packs a ton of flavor, really juicy but I think it could be a little bit tender if I had it just taken it another three, four, five degrees. Now for the actual beef rib. Mm. Now I took a bite out of the thinner end of that beef rib and you can see clearly here all the fat is rendered down. The beef's actually become fairly thin there. It's just really the way that the butcher had trimmed these, but that is so good. The seasoning, just the peppery bite, the salt, the smoke flavor. Really, really like these actually. Have to go in for another bite. So now I'm gonna taste the Miami short ribs and you can see here, we got a really nice char, beautiful grill marks. Just, we had that Claremont cranked up. We we're kissing these with fire for sure. Now look at this pull apart tender here. I'm gonna taste these. Mmm really taste the seasoning from the marinade. Here you're getting less of the actual beef taste, more from the marinade, the sweetness from the marinade. So a very different and distinct flavor from the other two that we've tried so far. These are so decadent. The marbling through these ribs are just unbelievable. At least out of these ribs, the ones I'm gonna say that are my preferred are these beef ribs. I think these ones I had actually done to a point where all the fat was fully rendered and marbled. These ones, had they gone maybe another, again, three to five degrees, this would be on par with these guys over here. Now for the Miami ribs, the beauty of them is they only take about five minutes to actually grill up. So they're really quick relative to these other ribs we had there on the grill for about four hours. So depending on how much time you have to actually cook your meal, as you think, of course, you gotta plan ahead and do a marinade if you're doing your Miami ribs, but man, those are really good if you like sweet beef. You really gotta give this a try. But my preference, again, is just to taste the beefy flavors. So going back in for another bite of this. Mm. And another bite of this. So thanks for tuning in, folks. I finished cooking beef ribs three ways here. You should try all of them, figure out which one you like. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.